All right, guys, I got a pretty interesting old lock here. This is made by Abus. No other engraving numbers, no model number, nothing on this thing. Uh, obviously made by those evil Abus lock engineers. We got a couple of things uh, about this lock, though. I was playing with it. I did get it with a key. Uh, it works beautifully, obviously. And on top, we have a little locking lever right here. Now, notice we don't have to open it very far or turn it very far. It doesn't even begin to engage until right about there. And you've only got to turn it just a slight amount, just literally from there to there. So just a little click, but obviously if you want to take your key out, you, you got to rotate it the entire way. So it's unlocked. Let me lock it back up here. We do also have a spinner on it. Now the spinner, it's not really a curtain. It does kind of deprive us of a little bit. I mean, it has some thickness, but when we rotate it around like that, and I shine a flashlight up in there, you can see the levers. So I have, I had pretty high hope. So just in experimenting, I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and just find out which uh, length of wire I need to get in there to get myself tension before we begin this whole process. So I stuck it in there, and let me get this thing aligned here. And I was feeling around, and in the back, which is where we normally expect to find the tensioner, I hit a lever. And there's no spring action, no turning whatsoever. So I thought, that's that's really weird. I mean, because usually on these locks, we I, I've only got one key, but I would get a piece of flat stock. And my intention was to create a key blank and grind off everything. So basically, if this were the key, this is not the key, it's one like it, though. I would take the key and I would grind off everything until we're done. And I would end up with something like this. It's the same key, but with everything ground off. And then I would use that for the tensioner, not only for this particular lock, but any lock of that manufacturer, any lock with that size keyway, that would make a great tensioner. So that was my intention. As I'm feeling around, I realized that, you know, that's the lever in the back was not the one I wanted. So I just started feeling around, and I realized when I touched the very first disc, the one closest to the face of the lock, I started getting that typical spring resistance of the tensioning disc. Now that's kind of weird, because what that does to me, uh, again, let's use our little samples here. If I had taken this key and ground off everything, and he were the tensioner in the back of the lock, then I could take my wire, after I'm tensioning, I could slide my wire in there till I hit it, and then I can manipulate all the discs until we pick it open. But that doesn't really happen in this case, because if I grind off everything except the tensioning disc, that very first one, and I slide him in and I'm tensioning, I try to put my wire in, he's going to bang right up against him. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to be able to access all the levers in the back because you got that tensioning uh, uh, cut right in the way. So I got to thinking about it and looking at this guy. So here's what I think. I think we were a little bit lucky here because we can take this wire, we can slide him in there's probably not going to work very well, but I slide him in there, I turn it, and I, I'm feeling him tensioning. Now I'm going to take a second wire. Now take a look at this. It's going to be a little, well, let me turn him like this. You'll notice that the wire's offset, which I'll show you in a minute, is designed for curtain locks. And when I combine the offset part of that wire with that cutout piece of warding, I believe there's going to be enough room for us to take a second wire, slide him back behind it like that, and while I maintain tension on the front, I should be able to pick the discs or the uh, levers in the back. It's just a theory. Uh, let's find out. Let me clamp him up, and let's see if we can't get this old label picked open in kind of a unusual kind of way. All right, let's make sure nothing's pinched and the lock still works. Okay, unlock, lock it back, and we are locked. All right, let's take that wire, and first of all, let's turn this spinner so that we can actually use him to help us, and, and not hurt us, but to help us, and we're going to lever off of the bottom. Let me see if I can find that tensioner. Should be right in the very front right there. All right. Now I'm going to take my second wire and put it in that little piece of warding, and just see if I can't work him around into the back of the lock. There we go. All right, now I'm tensioning from the front and it's pinched a little bit, but I think we can make this work. See if I can find the levers, looking for a binder. 
felt the little turn on that first disc, so I think I hit maybe a false gate, or found a good gate anyway. There's number two, second one. Number three. Felt another slight turn on that thing. Come on, where are you? You gotta be close. Okay, there's one. And the, the, the wire, the tensioning wire turned, but I'm, I don't know if you can't really see my thumb, but I'm about to twist that wire in half. I think it's got a really powerful spring. Okay, there's another one. And I felt it turn a little more. Let's see if we got to open. There we go. We have an open. All right. I, I would imagine, I, you can't really see, but I am really flexing. It's just the flexiness of that wire. It turned it just enough to open it, but it's not going to, unless I break the wire, it's probably not going to rotate all the rest of the way around. Anyway, guys, there you go. It does work. So you really don't need any special tools. You really don't need to ruin your one and only good key in order to pick these. Uh, this is really was unusual. This is one of the very first front tensioning lever locks that I've run into. So kind of an anomaly, but now that we know how they work, you know how easy it is to pick into them with a couple of wires. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.